Dan Baker, and today I want to talk about the 2019 Coleman Lantern LT 262BH. This is an awesome family bunk model. You have the big super slide over here with the sofa and dinette. In the back, you have double over double bunks. Let's take a look right over here at the, uh, the kitchen layout. You will see that you have some decent countertop space. They give you all this prep space right here, which is great. And you get the double bowl sink with a larger bowl on the left, smaller on the right, perfect for washing and rinsing dishes. High rise faucet there as well. If you take a look at the back wall, you'll see the gray subway tile look they have here. Two electrical outlets as well as dual USB ports to plug in your electronics. And then you'll also notice the uh, window there so you have a, a nice view out to the campsite. Over to the side is your recessed cooktop. The advantage of having a recessed cooktop is it allows for this flush glass cover. That way you can utilize this as prep space too. Fold this up and back, kind of doubles as a backsplash there. Gives you access to your three burners. You'll see your knobs here do light up. You can turn those off if you want, but it does make for a nice courtesy light at night if you have any guests sleeping out here. In lieu of an oven, you have pull-out storage. So, you know, I've talked to people and they kind of go both ways. Some people don't use their oven. They really only use it for pots and pans. And this will actually give you a lot more storage space than that oven would have. So, uh, you know, again, it just kind of depends on whether you use the oven while camping or not. But I really like this. I don't use the oven a ton here and again, you know, sometimes not too terribly often. So for me, uh, I would actually prefer having the extra storage. Right down below, again, you will see a large storage area there. Three drawers coming up this center. The bottom two are uh, pretty deep here, so if you have some larger items, you can fit them down in there. The top one, not quite as much, but it's fine because it's still plenty deep for all of your flatware. Underneath the sink, you'll notice some additional storage there. There is enough space for a trash can. And if we come around to the very front here, you'll see you have more access right over there. I like this too because on the bottom, kind of gives you a spot in which you can kick your shoes off, throw them right underneath there, that way they're out of the way, not uh, jamming up the doorway space. Your main control panel is right here on the side, <coughs> excuse me, side of your cabinets. You see slide room, water heater, water pump, uh, you know, your tank monitoring panel, everything right up there. Storage going all the way across the top here, LED lights underneath. Of course, you have those running throughout the entire camper. Microwave up top, you have your hood right underneath that above your cooktop as you would expect. And then you have your Norcold fridge freezer right over here to the side. As you can see, you have pretty good space in there. Nice big drawer along the bottom. This unit does run off both propane and electric and also has automatic switchover. Over a little bit further, you see this big storage area. Now, if you want to, you can use this for a pantry, but if you have the kids, more than likely you use this for clothes storage because it is a big, deep area, so you can fit a lot of folded clothes in there. And as you can see, the bunks are right behind that. So double over double bunks, 300 pound weight capacity. I'll kind of climb in here for you to give you an idea of size. So I am six foot. As you can see, I can kind of lay down here. Uh, you know, even with a pillow, you'd have no problems at all. So if you want adults to be able to stay the night, you can accommodate that as well. LED lights on both the top and bottom. You'll also see the dual USB ports there and you have windows. Right in the back is the bathroom. So as we take a step back here, foot flush, lever, toilet. Um, you know, I'll take a seat. I, I'm great for the shoulders, no issues whatsoever for my, my feet. My toes do touch a little bit. I don't have too much of a problem, but if you're a taller person, you have long legs, it might be a, a little bit tight in here for you. Right over to this side, you do see storage underneath the sink. Good countertop space here as well. I like that they made the extension uh, all the way out because that way, you know, you can put your hair dryer, curling iron, toothbrush, whatever else you need to. It gives you a little bit of space to get ready. Electrical outlet. Of course, you have a mirror here, robe hook for your towel, then a tub shower over to the side. Now, I will stand in here as well, again, to give you an idea of space. So, as I mentioned, I'm six foot. You can see even without the skylight, I can still stand in here with the skylight, uh, the vent fan here. It does give you a couple extra inches. You know, if you're 6'2", six, 6'3", six, you might struggle a little bit, but uh, any shorter than that, you should be just fine. Then you'll see the hand wand there for showering off. And again, it is a tub. So uh, not only does it have a higher threshold to help keep the curtain in, but also if you have smaller children that you, you, know, you still want to give a bath to, you're able to do that here in the bathroom. Right over to the side is your thermostat. This will control both your ducted AC as well as your ducted heat in the floor. Electrical outlet, nice and low, is a perfect spot to plug in a vacuum if you want to bring a vacuum along with you. 
And then over to the side here, as I mentioned, is the dinette. So you can comfortably sit four people here. I'll take a seat just to kind of give you an idea of spacing. So as you can see, plenty of room. You know, you have some elbow room here as well. This does drop down into additional sleeping space if you need it. It also has under lighting. Again, you can use it as a courtesy light or it just, you know, kind of gives a, a nice accent. The switch for it is right there on the wall. Two large windows in the slide to let in a lot of natural light during the day. And then over here is the jackknife sofa. So the great thing about a jackknife is the storage you get underneath. You can see all the storage right there. Notice you do have a knob here. So if you want, rather than lifting it up, you can drop this down just like so to access that storage as well. Just kind of depends on what's easier for you. Uh, these are removable. So that way you can take those armrests out to drop that down into a bed. Or if you're sitting here, you want kind of pseudo feeder seating, you can drop this center armrest down. So you have, you know, the side armrests here as well as the center one. It's a little bit more comfortable to sit in when you have a place to put your arms. You'll see the uh, cup holders there as well. And then if, uh, oh, one last thing before we go to the entertainment center, I do want to mention this as well, the slide height. So as I said, I'm just shy of six foot. You have uh, six foot slides here. So as you can see, my head is touching the top of the slide. But that's a pretty uh, nice thing to have in a travel trailer. A lot of times that's not the case. You know, you'll go to stand up. If you're not paying attention, you'll hit your head on the top of the slide, but not in the uh, Coleman Lanterns. Making our way right over to this side here, you will see that this is where you will put a TV if you want one. Again, you kind of have some backlighting there for added effect. You have your multimedia center right down here. This is Bluetooth capable as well. Some additional storage right here in the front. You'll see a propane leak detector. Your fuse box uh, in panel is right over here. So if you need to change your fuses, your breakers, you need to flip your breakers, that's where that will be. Making our way back up into the front here. So this is the master bedroom. You'll see the queen bed here in the center. You do have nightstands on both sides, which are great. You'll notice also you have a cubby hole underneath. And then both sides have electrical outlets and dual USB ports in case you need to plug in any electronics. Right up above that is your mirrored wardrobe door. You can see the hanging rod going across, shelf connecting the two there. And then right here at the foot of the bed, again, there's that uh, same backer in the wall, so you know where to mount the TV if you want one in the bedroom. The connections for that are on the ceiling. Now that we've seen the inside, let's take a look at some of the outside features for the Coleman Lantern LT262BH. Right up front here is a power tongue jack. This makes it nice and easy to hook up and disconnect from your tow vehicle. So all I have to do is flip the rocker switch here. That will raise and lower the tongue. And then you also have a light at night for added visibility. Right behind that are two 20 pound propane tanks. It does come with a cover, so that way you can hide those. You'll see the rails right here for your battery behind that. And then coming up the front, you have the diamond dutch plating, which helps protect the front end from some of the rocks and debris that get thrown up by your tow vehicle. You also see this sticker right here showing that this one does have the three year structural warranty, which is currently the best in the industry. Making our way around to the side, solar prep right here. So if you want solar, all you have to do is buy the portable panels, plug it in right there. It's already pre-wired and it will trickle charge your battery. And if we open up the pass-through, take a look in there, folks. That is a large pass-through. One of the things I really like about the Coleman Lantern series is that you have the same size door on both sides, which is not very common in this class. And also they are very large doors. So if you have bigger items like some of those grills or executive chairs, you're actually able to fit them in there. You'll see the power awning here, 16 foot power awning on this camper, LED light strip there as well. Just touch a button to roll that out. Same thing to have it go right back in. Now you have a power tongue jack and power awning, but you also have power stabilizer jacks. So that way when you get to the campsite, you can lower these right here. Your stabilizer jacks will come down so that way things aren't rocking inside. Bear in mind, folks, you don't want to use those to level. Those are only to stabilize the RV. Making our way back a little bit further here, you have your solid step system. Uh, a lot of manufacturers are starting to go to these style of steps and for good reason. They're exactly like the name says, very solid. I'm over 200 pounds. I can jump up and down on this thing. You'll see the steps don't flex. They don't have that springboard effect like your classic fold up steps do. Also, you get the aluminum treads here, so those will stay looking nice. They're not gonna you know, rust out. And you have the grip tape for some, uh, you know, a little bit of added traction in case it is wet. Little grab handle right here, you know, so that way as you are going in, it just helps you for the last couple steps in there and make sure you're not falling from a elevated position. Uh, you have two outside speakers. Those are connected by that multimedia center that I had showed you inside. 
Also, this little sticker right here shows that this one is, uh, or does have the WineGuard Connect 2.0 in there. So that way you can have the Wi-Fi extender. Uh, if you're at a campsite that has kind of a poor Wi-Fi signal, that'll help you a little bit. And it also has the 4G LTE capability. So you can buy a service plan that is a, a monthly plan through a uh, cellular provider, but that will give you internet in some more remote places. Electrical outlet right here, so if you need to plug anything in outside, that'll be the place to do it. Fresh tank fill. Folks, one of the things, again, I love about the Coleman Lantern series is the size of the tanks. They have a 60-gallon fresh tank on here, 42-gallon gray and black tank. So much larger tanks than, again, a lot of times you get with this class of RV. Making our way back a little bit further, not only do you have that, uh, that front storage there, the pass-through, but they also give you this one right here underneath the bunk. That's kind of one of the advantages of having the bunks on the campsite is you get the extra storage or some floor plans, you know, will have an outside kitchen, uh, but you can never have too much storage, so I certainly like it here on the 262. You have your square tubular rear bumper with the end caps. It gives you a convenient spot in which you can store your sewer hose. And then making our way right back here, you'll also see the outside shower with both hot and cold water access. If you take a look up top, you will notice this one has backup camera prep. So if you want a backup camera, it's already pre-wired making the installation much easier, meaning it will save you money on labor. Coming around to the side, cable inlet right over here. City water inlet will be located here. Electrical outlet, as you can see, we do have this plugged into shore power. When the cord's out, you can just drop this down like that. It makes it a little bit prettier. And then if you take a look right down below, you'll also see your termination with both your black and gray tank valves. All right, folks, that wraps it up. Again, this is the 2019 Coleman Lantern LT 262BH. If you're interested in this wonderful family camper and you would like price and availability, simply click on the link in the description. Thanks again for watching. I'm Ian Baker, and let's go camping.